Yo, do this! Do this. Oh, <laughs> we're trying something different anyway. Uh, so welcome to High Protein Quinoa Salad. Super tasty salad, perfect for summer. Oh, and this is Gemma. This Hello. is Dr. Gemma Newman, fantastic plant-based doctor, super inspiring woman, role model for all of us, two vegan kids as well. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna to talk to us all about protein and all sorts of things, but this salad is quick, it's easy, it's yummy, and here we go. And we're gonna teach you the framework which to make the salad so that you can mix and match to create your own, so. By now you guys know it's all about the framework, right? Yes. Yes. Amazing. Yes, so I guess we wanna teach you the framework so you're not dependent on one recipe per se. You can use this framework and it can flex and expand and contract in any way that you want. So okay, so you will need a, Bow. Bow, yes, big <laughs> mixing bow. Good work, team. Okay, Gemma, Gemma, Gemma does it all. Gemma does it all. Okay, okay, Gemma can do it all. Okay. okay. So this is quinoa. So we've got approximately 250 grams of cooked quinoa. It's so uh, fluffy. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice and fluffy and yummy. You can buy it pre cooked in packs or you can cook it yourself. You and cook it in veg stock if you want to infuse more flavour in it. Ultimately. And this is the base starch. So you could replace this with cooked brown rice, cooked short grain brown rice. You could replace it with millet. You could re re replace it with wheat berries, etc., 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 etc. But 250 grams. Do you so, know the reason why it's so cool is that not only is it a base starch, but it's also a protein. Oh. And that's what you're doing is you're doing a high protein salad, right? Yeah. Amazing. Full spectrum amino acids, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant yeah. stuff. Um, so just to run through the framework for this salad. So the framework is 25% grain, 25% bean, 25% cooked veg, 10% green, leafy greens, and 5% uh, cooked, 5% raw vegetables and 5% dressing. And that's, I think that makes 100%. Amazing. But, uh, but that's the framework that can flex. So we've got 250 grams of cooked quinoa. And in go our beans or legume of choice. So we have a, one full cooked can of Lentil. Green lentils, lentils. And, they're, and they're organic too, which is really nice. That's good enough. Yeah, Very absolutely. Important. We drain and rinse them, which is, gives us 240 grams net weight. Are you a big believer in organic, Gemma? I think that organic is definitely a healthier option based on the studies that I have read. Definitely. Beautiful. Absolutely. And for the soil. Absolutely. It's so important to have regenerative soil that you can grow loads of vegetables and fruits that are full of micronutrients, antioxidants. It's amazing. Very good. Beautiful. Yes. Uh, cooked sweet potato, we've 250 grams. I ate a little bit, so it's probably only about 200 grams now. But I ate a little bit too, so it says more like 180. Sorry. Oh, I missed out. Where was yeah. I that? <laughs> dig in, dig you were doing your oh. lipstick, your beautiful lipstick. That's right, with the lipstick moment. Perfect. There we go. Do uh, I just mix it all in? Uh, well, hang on there one second. We're nearly there. That was the, but I, the enthusiasm is fantastic. Okay, well, I just do basic dressing or? No, let's chop up a bit of the raw vegetables. Okay, there. so some raw veg. So we're going with some tomato, cherry tomato. So with the cherry tomato, you could decide what way you want it, whether you want to quarter them, whether you want to chop them into little little tiny bits, whatever way you want. And as I said, basic framework is 10% raw vegetables. So you could put cucumbers, you could put radishes, you could put avocado, any kind of raw veg. But this is just to give a more substantial salad that will kind of, it'll last you for the full week. It's great for lunches. Yeah. Um, now Gemma, Gemma has two, she raises two kids vegan and she is a medical doctor. So will you tell us about protein or? I can tell you all about protein. Yeah, tell so us whatever, go in on. Fact, you must get asked a lot with your plant-based diet. You guys, do you ever get asked where uh, to get your protein? Oh, uh, never. 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 Do you ever get asked that? That's the question, you just get <laughs> asked And I'm all. sure you've never got asked, oh, where do you get your protein from? Yeah, well, the good news is all proteins come originally from plants. So that's oh. where the cows get it from, that's where the bunny rabbits get it wow. from, that's where the pigs get it from. Is, is, from is that right that I, I've read stuff where it says that um, protein originally comes from the sun? Well, yeah, so, well, yeah, this is exactly right. So the plants that you grow, they need sun, they need the nutrients from the minerals from the soil, from the earthworms that decompose. And we were talking about organic earlier. It's so important because you've got all the mycorrhizae in the soil, which provide a framework, much like your plant-based cooking oh, framework. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> that provide for all those nutrients and your base amino acids, which do come with the benefit of sunlight and chlorophyll coming together. So it's pretty wow. amazing. But yeah, I mean, the guidelines say you need about 0 0.8 grams per kilogram, but I think that actually you probably need far less than that. And most people who eat a meat heavy diet tend to have far more than that. Yeah, yeah. And in fact, even people on a plant-based diet get far more than that. So you don't actually need as much protein as you think. We're all fiber deficient. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's I heard, right. Okay, question B, I heard that they said that, uh, okay, that, it, that it's virtually impossible to not get enough protein on a plant-based diet unless you're just eating refined crisps and chocolate bars and snack bars. Like if you're eating a diet based on whole plant foods, you will get more than enough protein. What do you think of that? I think that's absolutely right. And I'd even go a step further and I'd Ooh, say nice. that unless you are starving, you have a nutritional deficiency based on lack of calories, only then would you like, be likely to get protein deficiency. Wow, yeah. Protein is so ubiquitous in all plant foods. 
but but it's amazing how you like people go around. Like pause. Yeah. I have some spring onions, also known as scallions. Mm. I chopped them at a slight angle just to give them that kind of give more surface there, and they just look a little bit more fancy. They are pretty. Yeah, pretty. like I think one tip with trying to make your veg more interesting is just try a few different styles of cuts. It'll just make the salad seem more interesting, more like ooh, it's beautiful. Ooh. Yeah. But keep okay. going on, sorry I interrupted you, oh, yes. you were doing great. My sorry. spiel about yeah, yeah, protein. About protein. Okay, so. And also, I think it's, it's worth looking at what is your protein package. So what are you eating alongside your protein? So if you're having a very meat heavy diet, you're going to be having a lot of things like uh, heterocyclic amines, which are toxins produced when you cook it. You'll be producing mm. a lot more IGF-1, which is interesting like growth oh, factor yeah. 1 when you eat it, which can increase your risk of certain cancers. And you're going to be having new 5GC, which is a toxic compound. And then wow. you think about what your gut bugs do when they digest it. And they produce something called TMAO, which is also a toxic I've compound. Heard of these increases things. risk of heart okay. disease, There's a lot disease, of big words here. There's a lot of doctor favorite. words. Oh, no, <laughs> this is cool. Basically, let's bring it right down to the basics. Animal meats have lots of other bits and bobs that you don't necessarily want. Whereas if you're going for a plant-based protein, what do you get alongside it? Fibre, fiber. antioxidants. You get insoluble, soluble fibre, antioxidants, phytonutrients. You get all of this great stuff and uh, none of that bad stuff. That'll help you grow Very big good. and strong Very and live nice. a long, happy, healthy life. Woo! Very good. That's She's what we want. Okay, so just to, just to go back to the salad. So framework is 10% raw vegetables, 25% grain, 25% cooked veg, 25% bean. And I'm going with 10% greens. So I'm using rocket in this case. Uh, slightly yellowy rocket. But we're using rocket or arugula, a.k.a. arugula in the United States of America. So we're gonna add that in here too. Do we I need this a stir now? Yeah. Well, well hang, maybe, maybe we could go with the dressing. So exciting. Let's make the dressing and then we can knead oh, it all okay. just once because once we start mixing it all together. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to make a basic vinaigrette. A basic vinaigrette starts with one part oil to point three, three recurring parts. So it's like a third uh, vinegar. So can one I just part oil. in a simpler way? Three part oil to one part vinegar. That, that makes Boom! sense. Boom! <laughs> okay, so obviously vinegar is water based, oil is oil, so they don't stick together. So you will need some form of an emulsifier. Enter la moustache. Emulsifier? What emulsifier. do you mean emulsifier? Uh, oh it helps God. a liquid and a fat bind. Um, they use them a lot in the food industry, and yeah. it's actually quite bad because they use a lot of synthetic um, emulsifiers, which oh, nice. are not good for our gut totally microbes. Agree. But yeah, this is totally a lovely good. kind of emulsifier. This yeah, I think it's very good. Mustard. So I'm going to go with like five tablespoons just so we've loads of dressing. And I guess the thing about a dressing is if you make extra, it'll last. Uh, for months in your fridge, provided you don't add any fresh ingredients to it. Uh, so vinegar, I went with five tablespoons of oil, so I will go with about two tablespoons of vinegar. I'm going with apple cider. You could go with red wine, you could go with white wine, you could go balsamic with malt, vinegar. You know, balsamic. So you what see right now it naturally wine? separates. Yeah, exactly. uh, so what I'm gonna add is a little bit, normally it's about a bit, of, a bit slight bit under a teaspoon. In that goes. A little bit of uh, spice. Uh, that was mustard, just which will enable emulsification to enable it to stick together. Uh, I'm going to add an extra flavour note. I'm going to add a little bit of umami. That's a little bit of tamari, David's dear friend. Mm. And a little and bit of maple syrup. And I think maple syrup will just give another kind of. So just to recap in terms of dressing, we went with three part oil, we went with one part vinegar. Uh, to, otherwise, they would separate unless we mix them together. We added a teaspoon of mustard it, that encouraged the emulsification. We've added it in mm. probably a tablespoon of tamari and a tablespoon and of maple syrup. I love to. Just put it in the back of your hand is the way, like chefs right, often do so your fingers still stay. Good, clean. good idea. Yeah. Top tips. Mm. There yeah. we go. There you are. Sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry, I'm. Yeah, yeah, I'm. <laughs> Yum. That's oh, lovely. Yummy. Super tasty. And, okay, and, so and the sharpness will help kind of cut through this dish, which is yep. so lovely. Mm. I'm glad you did that little recap because I didn't remember what was in oh, the dressing. Yeah, that yeah. was a good little recap. I like oh, that. Very good. Mm. Uh, okay, so we have we have a farm where we grow our own various different beans. The packaging is compostable. So these are sprouted beans, meaning that they're not cooked, and they're kind of proteins are in amino acids. Mm -hmm. Their uh, fats are in um, essential fatty acids, and they're growing. If you, if everyone's quiet here for a sec. No, that was a joke. <laughs> uh, but they are that growing. Like crap. if you look at Rocket, Rocket was this one was probably picked about four weeks ago. No, <laughs> no, no. Say a couple of days ago. Couple of days ago. Slowly dying like all the Versus rest. Versus this is dying, and they're a wonderful, easy, absorbable protein source. So I'm gonna add in a fair bit of that. That's gonna add it's more raw veg. It's, it's a, a living, living food. food. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. So we have a spread of mung bean, and we have a spread of brown lentil. 
mm. in these go. So let's mix it all together. Let's get our dressing going through. Is it, is it finally time for me to mix it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right, yeah. now, maybe I should, should I get a big spoon, is that all right? Oh, see, yeah. I think these are the best 10 best right. spoons. You do it, Dave. Uh, Gemma's quite like classy, you're a bit rough. Okay, Gemma's a doctor, so, okay, I'm a bit, I'm well used to this. So, okay. taking your hands, obviously you don't like using your hands, you could just use I've got a little bit of spoon. basil too. I think fresh herbs are really important with a salad. Yeah, so yeah. I think getting there and really mixing the dressing and mixing the whole thing together. So Steve, can you re recap the framework? Yeah, and I'm just gonna add in a pinch of salt. Because the grain, often you could cook the grain with a bit of salt, but if not, salt is so important in terms of seasoning. It's no amount of fancy cooking technique um, can balance out a badly seasoned dish. Oh, uh, so it smells amazing. It does, oh, it smells lovely. Oh, and that's yeah. just a vinaigrette, it was so simple. So we went with 25% grain, we were 25% cooked veg, we went with 25% bean, we went with 10% raw veg, and the remainder was herbs. 10% green. 10% green, and the remainder was dressing. And this isn't the flavor. first time you've done this, is it? No, <laughs> no. Now we make it all the time like this at home. Very so. nice. So you could, could put things like pomegranate seeds, you could put anything to give it another little pop of color or flavor. Wow. Shall we taste it? Yeah, this is the best bit. Uh, can you tell us more about yourself, Gemma? So, uh, I've been a GP for a long time. I'm a senior partner at a busy mm. NHS practice. I've been a doctor for 15 years. Wow. And I'm hugely passionate about lifestyle medicine, helping people to empower themselves back to health. And when I discovered plant-based nutrition, it took my practice to the next level. Wow. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Really Gem is really yeah. super inspiring, based in the UK. On Instagram, she's called the Plant Power Doctor. Doctor. Powered. No, oh, plant, no, it's plant not. Power. Just Plant Power. Okay. Uh, and her yeah. website yeah. is GemmaNewman.com. Calm. Yes. Okay, good. Amazing. I got it. Well thank done. You. Thank you. But like in terms of like super up to research, super up to date in terms of just a really inspiring woman raising two oh. vegan kids. Thanks. Um, so do check her out. You know and. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I let aim, us know what you think. I aim to educate Fact and inspire, order. like you guys. Mm. Educate and inspire, that's this a good so noble cause. This is inspiring. Okay, dudes, there you have it. Uh, so I, I think with this salad you can add quite a bit of acid because the sweet potato are naturally quite sweet. So right, a bit of acid. How am I going to do this in a ladylike fashion? Uh, is it possible? Maybe wait till after. <laughs> or turn your back, turn your back, turn your back, turn your back. Yeah, there you go. Uh -oh. yeah. No, see, good. Gemma's lovely hair too. Yeah, oh, very lovely. So there you have it, high protein quinoa salad. It's quick, it's easy. Mm. The framework is from our Ultimate Vegan Cooking Course, which we only released last month. It's super good, it really is. It's teaching people how to cook mm. without recipes. Um, so this is one of the frameworks from that. Um, uh, do check out Gemma, she's amazing. Thank, thank you. you for watching. Go uh, forth and eat your vegetables, and don't worry about protein deficiency. Yes! yes. yes. Don't. Yeah. Uh, bye! Cheers. Bye!